Hi friends, today we will discuss the most interesting question why the higher STM rate like STM 256 and STM 1024 is not used. To understand we will move to the next page and we will comparatively study the frame structure of STM 1, STM 4, STM 16 and STM 64 and we will see that whenever we move from the higher STM rates the overhead increases 4 times the previous. So you are seeing here this is the frame structure of STM 1 frame below is the STM 4 frame structure is shown so in STM 1 frame structure there are total 9 into 9 row and there are total 81 bytes of overhead when we move from STM 1 to STM 4 it has total 9 into 36 and 36 is the number of column so there are total 3 to 3 to 4 which is the multiplication of 9 into 36 and which is equivalent to 4 into 81 4 times or 81 is the number of overheads which is used in STM 1 so it is the 4 into STM 1 so total number of overhead byte is equal to 3 to 4 when we move from the STM 4 to STM 16 it has total 144 144 is the number of column into 9 or which is equal to 4 into STM 4 overhead there are total 1 to 9 6 which is equal to 4 into 3 to 4 overhead bytes when we move from STM 16 to STM 64 it has total 576 into 9 576 is the number of column which is equal to 4 into number of overhead bytes in STM 16 so there are total 5.2 sorry 5.84 or 4 into 1296 and 1296 is the number of overhead bytes in STM 16 so there are total 5.84 overhead bytes in STM 16 so we are moving towards higher STM rate the number of overhead increase 4 times of the previous this is the main reason why we don't use the STM256 and STM21024. There are several reasons for not continuing higher STM rate like STM256 and STM1024. With every higher multiplex, the amount of overhead bytes quadrupled and only a small part is necessary. So higher STM rate is not used and DWDM comes in existence. So for rate higher than the 10 Gbps, we use the DWDM or in case the 10 Gbps we also use the DWDM cases because the 10 Gbps and are uh, um, greater than the 10 Gbps 40 Gbps and 100 Gbps it is very convenient for the DWDM to carry this much of higher bitrate but in case of STM it is not possible because of large number of overhead in a DWDM OTN there are fixed frame size so even at higher rate the number of overhead is fixed in the case of TWDM when the bitrate is increasing there is no increase in overhead in the case of TWDM this is the main advantage and that's why this is the successor of the STH at 10 GB per second this is the second reason why we don't use the STM256 and STM1024 at the 10 GBPS the higher FAC has to be used to support transmission over larger distance the overhead did not provide enough space to insert the FAC bytes without causing additional latency. Technology had evolved to enable optical multiplexing and OTN was the successor of STH. In OTN the same frame structure is transmitted at higher rate so the overhead remains the same. OTN was capable of transporting 10 GBP and 40 GBP and higher bit rate without any problems. In STH it was difficult so there is no use and no need of using higher STM rates like 256 and 2 STM1024. Even STM256 is described in the ITUT recommendation G0707, but STM1024 is not used. Thank you, friends. We will discuss the more interesting question in the next session.